it's going to be the first time in the world we have a live concert with a 3D printed band. Um, well, I've been 3D printing since almost the mid-90s, but 3D printed musical instruments about two years ago I started. And I did it just for fun to see if it could be done, if it was possible. Well, I mean, I guess 3D printing allows me to make shapes that are impossible to make any other way. So I can do really, really complex things that would just be impossible. Probably the biggest advantages are being able to customize the guitar. So everyone I make for a musician is custom made for them. What's well, actually quite interesting, the reaction of musicians, because musicians, strangely, they're very creative, but at the same time, they're very conservative. And they first approach, essentially, a plastic guitar with a lot of suspicion, but then they have a play with it, and they're completely amazed that it sounds and plays like a high-quality electric guitar. So I designed it all in a virtual world, so in computer-aided design software on the computer. I can rotate it around, I can zoom it, I can color it. Once I'm happy with it, I pretty much hit print, and that sends it to the printer that slices it up into thin slices and manufactures it one slice at a time until the parts are ready. And then, of course, I have to paint them afterwards to make them look really pretty. There's been a few applications in the medical field, so 3D printed hip replacements, for example, or hearing aids. Those are good examples of real applications. We need more of that. And in a way, that's one of the reasons why I did the guitars, to show this is usable beyond just a prototype.